why do I pre-soak my yarn before I dye it? And the short answer for this is that you need the yarn to get wet at some point in order to dye it. And some yarn bases can absorb water really, really quickly, and others take more time. And if you're using a yarn base that doesn't soak up water easily, if there are dry patches, then those won't absorb color and you could end up with unwanted white spots left behind. Now, there may be times when you want to start your dyeing project with dry yarn because you may want to take advantage of the unevenness and get something more tonal with a little more variation in it. And that's totally fine. But the rule of thumb for me is to pre-soak my yarn for at least 30 minutes and maybe even overnight. In my experience, Blends with silk need longer pre-soaks to make sure all of the yarn is wet, so that way I don't end up with those accidental white spots. I typically pre-soak all of my yarn at room temperature in just tap water with no acid, because you can always add acid later on. And sometimes I wanna do a technique where I want to add the dye to the yarn before adding acid to again, get more even coverage. But anyway, here I am in my five gallon bucket pre-soaking some mini skeins for the 2024 Chemnitz Hanukkah special. And you can go check out that mystery yarn pre-order in the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop.